I'm Leon Korth uh, from the Korth farm in Whitingham where we've milked cows for 145 years. Not me personally, but my family. And in 2010, I believe it was, we dug this spring in August. And we had a really dry August. And after we dug it, we had found a hole in the ledge where the water is coming right up out of solid rock. And we'd pump out the hole in the earth here. And six hours later, it would have 36 inches of water in it. And we did that multiple times. And we decided that if it would do that in a dry August, we probably had a good water supply. And it's turned out to be great. Um, there's a Green Mountain Power utility line that goes right overhead. And so I struggled with, do we put in a meter here? or do we go the solar route? And ultimately my conservatism won out and we went the solar route because I only had to pay once that way. And I'm just about to pull the pump up out of the spring so you can see what it is, but it looks like a, an artesian well pump. Not much to it, that's all there is. And it's running, so I'm gonna put it right back in. Um, it pumps through an inch pipe once it gets to the surface of the spring up to a thousand gallon water tank about 300 feet away. And from that point, all of the, I believe right now it's nine water tanks that gravity feed from there. The farthest one away is a little more than a thousand feet from the storage tank in the barnyard which actually works terrific because I can monitor whether everything is working without coming up here to check. If there's water in the tank in the barnyard, I know the system is up and running. The spring is 10 feet deep, and right now there's about six feet of water in it, but it's obvious the pump has been running quite a lot this morning to refill the storage tank from what the cows drank overnight. The, sol the solar panel, which you can see now, and also the utility line, is about 50 feet uphill from the spring so that it would be in a sunny location. It has concrete around the base, uh, just in a hole dug in the ground, no form. We just stuck the pipe in and, and filled the hole in the earth with concrete to hold it stable. The company we purchased it from is Robeson Solar in Oklahoma. The tank you see here is a thousand gallon storage tank from Tank Depot, which is a company I found on the internet um, and just had them ship it to me. I don't remember what it cost, but it wasn't excessive. The pipe going up the side is the fill coming from the spring and the one taped to it is actually just a water level gauge so I can tell how much water is in it when I want to check. The tank down on the ground is just very similar to all of them that run off from this. Um, we use Rubbermaid tanks and Hudson float valves which um, work with little to no pressure which this has because of it being a gravity system. Um, the cows are in these paddocks mostly at night so the pump doesn't run then but even when all 60 of our cows are milking there's adequate water there to go for a couple of nights so if we have one cloudy day um, it's not an issue. Sometimes if we have two cloudy days in a row we do run a little low on water. But the tank down in the barnyard, I can actually fill from the barn. And if we had a real long uh, period of no sun, I could backfeed all of these from that location if I decided I needed to. But so far, I never have. What you're seeing now is a shot from the tank, which is just behind us, the storage tank toward the barns. And in that stretch, there are actually right now four tanks. And I believe at the moment there are nine tanks that run off from this system. I'm working on a plan to actually run this water across the road 
because the, as I indicated earlier, I believe the cows seem to like it better than they like the artesian well water that comes from the barn. And it is, again, about a thousand feet from here to the farthest tank. The plan that I'm trying to hatch at the moment would put a second storage tank in that greenhouse barn that you can see in front of you um, up eight or ten feet from the floor so that that would fill from this tank because of the drop between here and there and then that would have enough elevation to actually gravity feed uh, push the water across the road to the other side.